First, I cut a 2x6 to make the seat of the stool. After cutting the pieces to length, I cut the rounded edges from the long edge of each board so I can glue them together. The next thing I did was to set my miter saw to cut a compound miter and cut the legs. The stretchers that connect the legs don't need a bevel, they just needed the miter. With all of the pieces cut, I start laying out where the stretchers will be positioned. Holding them in place, I drill a pilot bolt through the stretcher into the leg. I do this for all of the stretchers. Quickly realized how handy it would be to have a pocket bolt jig, and have since gotten one. With 150 grit paper, I sand all of the legs and stretchers, making sure to break any hard edges. Ready to assemble the frame, I countersink all of the pilot holes, making my own pockets. Start the screws in the stretchers and line them up with the holes in the legs. With the frame assembled, it's time to turn my attention back to the seat. Once the clamps are off, I scrape off as much of the hardened glue as I can with a chisel. trace this curve and now have a rough idea of the waste I want to remove. I 
use my table saw to remove this waste because I don't have a dado stack to make numerous passes. I keep adjusting the height of the saw blade to stay as close to the profile line as I can. Once the majority of the waste has been removed, I use a chisel to remove as many of the chunks as I can, and also to break the edges of the steps left by the table saw. When I felt I got as much as I safely could with the chisel, I switched to the sander with 80 grit sandpaper. When all of the saw marks were removed, I switched to 150 grit to smooth it out. After showing off my sandpaper folding skills, I break all the edges of the seat by hand. Finally, it's time to attach the seat to the frame. The holes I drill in the frame for the screws are large enough to allow for some movement in the wood. The finish I applied to the stool is an ebony colored wood stain. I applied two coats of that and then covered it with two coats of polyurethane to protect it as it will be a shop stool. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please like or share this video. I would also appreciate it if you left me a comment telling me what you think of the video or the project. If you want to keep up with me, I'm on Facebook and Google Plus. Links will be in the description. You can also check out my blog at woodworkingwithtyler.wordpress.com. Thanks again.